Yo, what's going on guys? Another episode of Dom Trump Fishing and I'm happy to see you back on the videos. Now today, today is an interesting video because originally I came out here to test out this guy and I didn't even make an intro just because I figured I'm gonna have to do more work to it and whatnot. If you guys remember in the last video I told you guys that all I thought I had to do to it was just to replace those gas lines because the gas lines were getting old and whatnot. If you want to get a full in-depth it's at the end of my last video. I got it, you know, I changed out those gas lines the other day. Here, I'll open it up for you. So as you guys can see, these are new gas lines. All of them are new, nice and soft, and uh, so they're all changed over. And I, you know, kind of wanted to just see how well it ran with the new gas lines in there, so that's why I brought it up today, you know. And I also did one other thing that was off camera, but I tweaked with this little screw here. This is actually the, uh, like how much fuel I think it is, or some, it's something kind of like that, where it uh, limits how much fuel, or so, I honestly couldn't tell you exactly what it does, but all I know is it messes with the idle, and now it idles like a champ, and whatnot. Actually, sometimes it's a little bit too much of a good of an idle, I can't even turn the motor off, but that's a good problem to have. I just ran across the lake, I actually didn't have this thing on, so I never got to see how fast I was going, but let me tell you, this thing works back like it used to. I think the mixture of new gas being in there, the new gas lines and all that is equaling out to this thing running smoothly. So let me just uh, take the, we'll put the cover back on. I'll prop you guys up maybe and uh, or I'll just go with the boat and I'll use the camera. Anyways, I'll show you guys how well she runs. Just wait. So before I get into how well this motor actually runs, I want to show you guys what it ran like before the last time I was out. So as you guys can see, that's very, very, very bad. It goes, speeds up, it slows down. I actually most of the time had to have the choke pulled in order for it to run any kind of good. Now watch this. So, as you can tell, this thing works like a charm. And you know what else works like a charm? This thing. Well, all right, all right, I gotta take that back. Right now, it doesn't work like a charm because the battery's dead, but that's completely my fault. I've been so focused on this darn Esca 15 horse motor that I have neglected to plug in any of my batteries every single day I come out. And I've come out a decent amount of times just trying to get this to work. And every time I have this thing running, in order to try to uh, get like my speed to figure out how fast I'm going. But I went over a rock pile that I know on this lake and like I just tried to, you know, see if I could find rocks out there and whatnot. Holy crap is this thing better than I, better than I expected. I was thinking that I was gonna have to, after get done with this motor, go through and try to figure out this whole entire depth finder situation. But this depth finder works so well, it's insane. The depth finder itself is uh, working really nicely. And then also, I can see rocks so clear down there. I was not expecting that at all. I was expecting to have to mess around with its location and stuff like that. But no, I can see rocks just fine and that's the main reason I got it for. Because your boy likes to catch some smallmouth from time to time. You know how you find smallmouth? You find rocks. So this thing's gonna help me do that this year. So this thing is pretty much ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna actually gonna be heading over to a lake that's connected to this lake. Just head over there real quick. And I got a spot that potentially could have some crappies at it. I'm just gonna fish for some crappies for a little bit because it's a beautiful day. I don't wanna go inside. It's too nice to be doing anything except for fishing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. So I'll be switching over to the chesty pretty soon and I'll see you guys there. Peace. All right guys, so I'm at the spot now. 
Uh, this is actually spot number one. I got a few spots on the lake that I could protect. Ooh, there's a fire over there. I wonder if it's the boat that I saw. Don't know how well you guys can see it, but over that way, there's a ton of smoke, there's a fire. Anyways, I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on what's ahead of me. What's ahead of me is pencil beads. Now, the crappies are to the point where they probably aren't like, you know, moved up in the super shallows like they have been. And that's why I didn't catch any in the last episode. So today, my plan is to just try to fish some pencil weeds and see if maybe any are trying to move up into spawning potentially or at least like getting ready to kind of so my plan is to just kind of fish this area see if there's anything hanging around these pencil weeds I got a few other spots that they could potentially be at as well so I should be able to catch a fish for you guys and not have a repeat of last time Today's current water temperature is 49 degrees. Don't know if that means that the fish should be up shallow like this or if that means that they are not up shallow like this. My bobber. Hey, there's a northern right there. What are the odds I hook into one of those stupid things today? Oh, I missed my 40 pound braid. <laughs> I guess it never really crossed my mind that there probably is just a ton of northerns up in this spot. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. And we are back in action, boys and girls. This is turning into a great day. I mean, already today's a win though, because I mean, the motor runs finally. All right, guys, we're gonna say goodbye to this spot and actually head on to a different spot that I feel like might be a little bit better. guys so this new spot that I'm at now is actually just like a little drain here and it uh, always holds fish so I've never actually fished this lake in the springtime for crappies I know real smart of me anyways I'm trying to learn you know where maybe these crappies are sitting so my plan right now is to just kind of creep my way on into the shoreline here and there should hopefully be crappie sitting in the current because current is one of the places I always look for when I go crappie fishing. In the springtime especially, there should be some crappie at least sitting up in here hopefully. If I have any luck, the water temperature here is three degrees warmer as well. I'm in a little bay instead of being in the main lake. So I'm thinking the water temperature is gonna play a little bit of a role in this as well. It's almost 53 degrees, so yeah i think the fact that there's current and the water is just a little bit warmer is going to completely go together as far as hopefully catching a fish or two all right guys so i actually just caught a fish a tiny one and i got another one nibbling at it right now but i don't know how much you guys saw because i don't know when this gopro last was recording but hey i got one biting right now you guys just missed fish number five on the year I, got, I think there's just a little school of crappie sitting between these two docks here. Oh, I pulled it away from them. It's all right. There's just a ton sitting right in here. Oh, I'm so pissed. I finally catch a fish and guess what the GoPro's off. You know what that is? That's GoPro luck. I don't know how many fish there are actually in here and how big they are, but how big all of them are. But the one I just caught was like six inches long. Oh, he took it down again.
Oh, there's one. I just cast it right in front of me at this dock and there's one under it apparently. This is actually a much nicer one than the first one. Jeez, this one's thick. So what I'm thinking is, is they're underneath this pontoon right here. So what I'm gonna do is just get the boat going out. And I'm gonna measure this guy because look at this thing, this is a nice fish. So, like 11 and a half. Not bad, not bad, not bad. That was crazy though. I casted like right in front of this little pontoon. Same spot that I caught that other fish. I just came back to it. That was like double the size of that last one, or the first one that I caught. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright guys, so I am now off the water. Today actually went a lot better than I expected. I mean, for one, I was not expecting for the motor to run as well as it did. It pretty much runs as good, if not, I won't say better, but pretty much as good as it was last year, which is a really crucial thing to me. So that was good. And then also finding out that the Helix 7, it works, the side imaging works like I wanted it to. That was a very big part of the day as well. And then also just catching fish. I mean, I wish I would've got that one fish on video, but the fact that I didn't really isn't that big of a deal. Now, where do we go from here? Well, I am currently uh, loading up the chargers and getting the batteries all charged up because they need to be doing that. I remembered that after the seven died today. So yeah but I'll see you guys in one second when I get this plugged in and we'll close out this video. All right, so battery's plugged in. So today, I had a lot of fun today. It was an interesting day. I finally caught fish, caught the first fish in the tin pounder now of the year at least. And I'm really sad that that video didn't, you know, get on video. I don't completely know what's going on with my GoPro at the moment. There's a small smudge on the screen. But like I said, I don't really know what's going on with the GoPro. Like it, for some reason was running like five minutes before I'd looked down and saw that it was running. And then I caught the fish, let it go, looked at my camera and the red light wasn't blinking. And it, the screen wasn't on or anything. So I hit the power button and yeah, it pretty much came up with this really weird screen. But anyways, that's what's up with the boat uh, be waiting because I will be making a video going over the boat and like some things about it. Well, everything I did to it actually. So you guys will get to see that, don't worry. Go ahead and comment down below if you wanna see it. I'll get to it faster. I wanna close out the video. I wanna thank you, you, the person watching this video. Maybe you're watching with another person. I wanna thank both of you then, but for sure, just you. I wanna thank you for watching this video. This means a lot to me that you guys made it this far throughout the video and shows me that I got active subscribers finally again. Something I haven't had in a while. If you guys are like have entered the giveaway and whatnot, maybe go check out my last video where I announced the giveaway, well, two videos that go actually, where I announced the giveaway winner because that's really important. And if you guys wanna see how bad exactly the boat was before and whatnot, go watch my last video. I'll be signing out though. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciated it and I will see you next time.